Hi guys, it's Patricia and today I have my scent of the month kit to share with you. It's all sealed up, we're gonna rip into it now. Today is Thursday when I get this shipment in. It came really fast. I actually have a strong and long video up on my channel. So I'm not sure if I will upload this on Friday, but we'll see. I might do it late Thursday night, depending. Um, the other thing is, on Monday, we're getting the Father's Day collection release. The Villains collection is re-releasing. And if you're a consultant, you can pick up the Bring Back My Bar kits. So I was wondering if you guys wanted me to do a live video this weekend to discuss some of the Bring Back My Bars, even before we get the kits, because I've warmed all of them, I believe, except for Jet Set Go. I think that's the one. I always get it mixed up. Anyway, <clears throat> let's talk about the scent of the month. It is called Appealing Apple. Now, before we get to that, I this reminds me of the, the packaging of um, red pear and pomegranate. But before we sniff this out, I will show you the flyer so you can see the warmer. I don't usually get the warmer, but I like to share it with you guys briefly. And you can always check out other consultants' videos. Not every consultant has to get the warmer, especially if you've seen it once, you kind of don't need to keep seeing it over and over. So the warmer of the month is called Chromatic. Here's the beautiful um, flyer. And this is a really eye-catching flyer. Look at that. And it looks very different. I remember seeing videos when it's unlit versus lit. So let's open it up. It says chromatic. It says add bold, rich color to your space with this stunner. Yes, I would agree. Color plated glass is shattered and then sections are hand placed, creating a dazzling mosaic that radiates even more beauty when lit. So here's another picture. And at the bottom, they show some pictures when lit. So this one is a 25 watt uh, glass warmer. The month of June, it will be featured at 10% off. I will put down in the description box below the price if you're in Canada at the 10% off and the price if you're in the US. So that is great while quantities last. So let's talk about the scent, shall we? It's called a peeling apple, <laughs> so cute. Here's the wax. Like I said, very similar in color to red pear and pomegranate. Let's read the scent description, then we'll break down the notes. So this says, it's in the fruity section, the sugary sweetness of juicy apple and lively pear are even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe it's because I got red pear and pomegranate on the brain. <laughs> It reminds me of that mixed with like like an apple scent. It's like an apple version of red pear and pomegranate. <laughs> um, red pear and pomegranate is really fruity and syrupy and punchy. Take that down a notch and add in an apple. I like this. I didn't think I was gonna like this. I like it. Do I like it better than Johnny? Um, no, I think I like Johnny, but for different reasons. This is more of a blended scent. Johnny Appleseed is more of a basic Mac Apple scent to me. Okay, let's <clears throat> let's break down the notes. I'll put a split screen here. It says top notes, Earl Grey tea, pear, and juicy apple. I don't really get Earl Grey tea, but I get the other things. Mid notes are green tea, jasmine, and sweet pea. I don't think I really get any of those. Do I know what sweet pea smells like by itself? I smelled it with sweet pea and vanilla. Base notes, it says spring crocus, white moss, and musk. I don't really get that either. It smells like a fresh, kind of more like a green apple, not overly uh, tart, more like a sweet green apple. There's probably sweet green apples because Granny Smiths are kind of tart. With a bright, juiciness in the background, almost like a red pear. Anyway, <clears throat> I think if you like red pear and pomegranate, if you like Johnny Appleseed, I think you're gonna like this. People say it's like a perfumey apple. I've seen a couple people say that from their West Box samples. I don't, I don't really get that. I get like, maybe there's a little bit of musk, but it's not like that cologne musk. It's like a bright, fresh, airy musk if it's in there. Anyway, <laughs> this is pretty good. On cold sniff, it seems like it's about a medium to a medium plus in intensity. So I will divvy up my bars and I will get some to my star director and keep some for myself. I'll get to warming this and I will definitely aim to have a bar warmed 
by the end of this month so you can hear about it and then it will launch June the 1st. So that is a peeling apple and warmer of the month, chromatic. Make sure you contact your consultant if you're interested in either of these scents, 10% off for the month of June. As always, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Please take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.